I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a wet sold Sunday on, on a Monday. Monday. Oh, that was good. That was good. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We got new people, and everybody's been reaching out with lots of kind messages. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's been nice. We love our internet family. We do. If you're new here, introduce yourself down below. We got a really tight squad, and we hang out together and talk on the internet about reselling. It's fun. That's right. That's right. You missed our last video, go check it out. It's all about our eBay secrets, how we've been able to increase our sales, which has our sales have increased drastically. We're up, what, like 200, 300% over the last 30 days? Yeah, it's a yes. lot. So we got a lot to get to. So we're gonna go really fast, and yep. hopefully you can learn some things about what's selling for us. And uh, as always, it might not sell for you, but it's a good marker to know what's moving. Right. Because we have a thousand pieces of inventory, and to know what's moving out of those thousand pieces is... It's a thousand pieces? Yeah. Wow, we've been busy. We've been really busy. <laughs> if, you didn't, if you didn't know, we got a new office in, July, uh, in January, at the beginning of January, and um, we've been working full time yeah. for the first time, and uh, it's, been, it's, it's been interesting. Yeah. All right, we're going to start off with Poshmark. Okay. Our first sale was this Alberto Macaulay. Ruffle iridescent top sold for twenty five dollars. Perfect. Yes. We sold the, we sell these a lot. Yeah, this was something that came in the auction, one of our first auction lots that I ever won. And but the Macaulay like ruffly crinkly shirts. Yes. We sold a couple of colorways of that shirt. We have. And we have another one listed. Good. All right. Uh, next sale. Mojo's licking me. That's what my face is. Say hi, Mojo's. He's everybody's favorite. Mojo's. Oh. Huh. The cameo. Oh. Look at the spot. <laughs> All right, we sold a pair of fry boots, another pair of brand new fry boots, the Shirley over the knee, sold for 90 bucks on Poshmark. We've had these for over a year since last <clears throat> the last time we did retail arbitrage. Yeah, we got these at uh, what, TJ Maxx. the TJ Maxx yellow tag clearance. But now they're moving, so hey. Hey, you know, it, it only, only took a year. Only took a year. Okay, we have a BB Dakota high neck cocktail dress in 25 bucks. Y'all, this came in a B&G box. We don't recommend B&G anymore. Mm. Um, we made a couple bucks off of it. But here's the point. What's I, the point? I watch YouTube while I'm working and I hear people say, don't buy workwear, don't buy cocktail dresses. You can't, those rules don't apply. Everybody needs something all the time. Yeah. So we sold a cocktail dress yep. in COVID times. COVID times. <laughs> we also sold a W5 uh, floral embroidered sweater. Sweatshirt? Sweatshirt. <laughs> with, uh, three, staring at this. Three quarter sleeves. He's like, what is that? It sold for 15 bucks, buddy. Mojo's the posh cat. <laughs> yeah, we were trying this brand. Eh. Eh. Wasn't so good. But this is great. This is great. This was in uh, Hermenegildo Zenia. Say that three times. I'd rather not. I'd call it just Xenia. <laughs> a Xenia 38 regular double-breasted uh, Super 100s blazer sold for 55 Perfect. Yes, this is an awesome, awesome high-end brand. If you see Xenia, grab it. Always grab it. We sell those for more on eBay, but this is Poshmark, yeah. so we were like, eh. Yeah, we'll, we'll compromise. We'll Again, take a, somebody's we'll take an buying offer. a suit in COVID times. So don't just not list things because you don't think anyone will buy them. Right. People buy them. Case in point, next up we sold a tie, a Vineyard Vines candy cane anchor tie. So sold not for 12 only, bucks. wait, not only was it a tie that people say people aren't wearing formal wear, but it was a candy cane tie, like a Christmas one? Candy cane? I mean, I kinda? guess you kinda, you could pass it off as a Christmas tie See? if you wanted to. That's a double whammy. You can sell <laughs> anything, anytime. <laughs> I love it. And that's gonna do it for Poshmark. Yeah, small, but. Kind of mighty. Kind of. Y'all, I'm so glad we cross list. We cross list to every platform we can. Let me just well, tell you. within reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, it's grailed sometimes, tradesy sometimes, yeah. if it applies. Yeah. Facebook, not really anymore. Didn't work out. Tried it. But now let's look at Mercari. We're going to move on to Mercari. Our first sale on Mercari was this sweet, sweet mustard yellow marked by Mark Jacobs bag. Did $54. You love it? Oh, you loved it because it was $54. Yeah, and it's like your favorite color. It's my favorite color. It was good. Yeah. Right? You know, I went. I didn't want to list this because I had some flaws and I was so worried about it. And it sat for a year in our death pile. Finally, we got out the bags. I was like, well, you know what? We got out that bag of bags. We had an Ikea bag yes. full of purses and 
laptop bags and everything. We listed them and we've sold almost every single one of them. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Yep. Oh, there it is. There it is. The what is this? The Manhattan Portage Black Messenger bag sold for forty bucks. My East Coast people, we live in Dallas now, but I'm from DC. You know the Manhattan Portage messenger bags. I found one in Texas. People in Texas don't know this. Dan know. was like, uh -huh. I, no I never seen these before. Nope. But everybody on the East Coast is used to, in the 90s and the 2000s, have these bags. And so, of course, it sold to someone in New Jersey. It sure did. Of course. <laughs> All right. This also sold uh, for 42 bucks. this Obermeyer snowsuit. And it's... It's coming back. Coming back. You know, you guys... This lady had a lot of questions. I mean, a lot, like 40. Yeah, it was a lot. 40 questions. So, of course, it's coming back. It happens every single time. <laughs> Why does that happen? The more answers you give, the more likely it's going to come back. So weird. Unofficial uh, rule of thumb there. Yeah, anyway. Let's move on to our last sale on Mercari. It was this Betsy Johnson large metallic skull tote. Sold for 25 bucks. So we sold three of the bags out of the bag of the bags. Yeah. On Mercari. Yeah. So apparently Mercari, you can sell bags on, and who, I don't know. We still can't figure out Mercari. Some of you in the comments last time were like, hey, we do well on Mercari. Please tell us how. It's the, do you just sell bags? We sell the weirdest stuff. And weirdest. Then, and then when something sells on Mercari, it's like a bunch of that thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, we're going to move on to eBay. We got a lot to talk about with eBay. Lots, lots to talk about. Um, when I said our sales were up 300% over the previous 30 days, I meant specifically on eBay. Yeah. Um, we've been listing a lot and it has, it's been paying off. So our first sale was a vintage Revere Wear three quart saucepan with the lid sold for $32 with free shipping. We're trying out the pots and pans trend. I know. Give it a shot. We clean them. We didn't do a pots and pans video because the cleaner destroyed my hands and my arm and I was sick for two days. Yeah, it was not good. No, it was not good. <laughs> we're like, we're going to recommend. No, we can't recommend that. No, no. My hands peeled off. I look like an alien. It was bad. So anyway. It's not going to happen to everybody, didn't it? Isn't that? Okay, oh, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. But the pots and pans, when I did the math today, yeah. we only made like five bucks. Yeah, not really worth it with the free shipping at, at this price point. You have to do free shipping because... <laughs> I don't know, most people do, and you want to be competitive, right? Yeah. They did sell the same day. I'll yep. give them that. These three quarts sold. Yep. But for $5, was it worth cleaning them? Uh, and getting alien hands? Ah. I don't know. Mm. Is, it, is it worth it? I don't know. Next. Next. <laughs> and, uh, oh, another one. The other, the other three quart sold for $34.95. Uh, the other one had a ding. That's why it was a couple bucks cheaper. Uh, yeah, but they both sold the same day. This one sold for $35. We made a couple of bucks again. We don't know if we're going to continue that game. Yeah, it's... Let us know how you do with pots and pans. Because I, I know a lot of people do it, right? A lot yeah, of a lot. It's like so trendy right now. And so we like, okay, well, we had some in yeah. our death pile. We'll list these bad boys. Yeah, we would. Five dollars later. <laughs> okay, we had a pair of paper denim and cloth boyfriend jeans sell on eBay for $20 plus eight shipping. We got those on our Dollar Day haul, so yes. it's a good brand still. I pick up paper denim and cloth. Um, it's good. I People see like it. it. I see it for, for guys all the mm -hmm. time, and I skip it. Well, I don't know about for guys, yeah. but I know that, and they're only $20. So if you're getting it for a dollar, that's different than $6. For sure, for sure. Uh, another pair of jeans, the Levi's Straight Leg 505, sold for 25 also $8 shipping. Yes. Levi's on eBay flies for us. We just listed these. They're in the death pile. Boom. Gone. Gone. That, that's, that, that was a trend this week, right? You figured out... Oh, what? I'll tell you at the end. I have all the analytics. There's, there's a cool stat coming, so stay tuned. Uh, I sold another nerd card. Nerd uh, <laughs> Magic the Gathering. Uh, Winter Orb artifact card sold for $15. Hey. Hey. I like $15 nerd <laughs> cards. We also sold a... This old is, school sweater. This is a Dr. Huxtable sweater. For sure. These are coming back. They're, they are. The acrylic ones. They're super on trend right now. This one sold for $20 plus eight shipping. We definitely paid a dollar for it. So yeah, it's Serafini who? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As it's long as it looks like Dr. Style. Huxtable wore it, we're good. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't have to be kooky. It doesn't have to be super loud. It just has to be like, I don't know, multicolored and yeah. like textured. Exactly. Exactly right. In acrylic. 
You hooked somebody up with these Expo markers. I sure did. Uh, Y'all, there was a glitch. Glitch, but there was two. Two full boxes, 36 count of Expo markers sold for $33. Someone told me about this Amazon glitch. Not told me, but it was on Insta. Yeah. And I was like, oh. So I went and I got 36 markers total, right? Uh, 36? In, in each box. Oh my gosh. I got a ton of markers yeah. and um, for 10 bucks. So I was like, I'm going to give these to someone for way cheap. And I took the first offer. Yep. Some teacher somewhere was like, I need those. Yeah, so. totally. And we still made $10. All right. Take that, Amazon. Take that, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, man, yo. There's a couple of, couple of lessons here. Couple of lessons. Learn the from first, us. The first lesson is that on eBay, there's a market for everything. Totally. We, we were like, what even are these? These were ha some, I guess, handmade coffee mugs uh they were definitely handmade they were all wonky and yeah, weird they, they came in an auction right lot. auction lot in a box um we were like right, whatever we're gonna try it we're gonna list them and they sold quickly for a lot well 10 bucks no but plus, plus shipping. eight shipping yeah, yeah. so uh, here the let I, him, just I, let I, him I, I packed give them, him some time give them some, it's okay i did not pack them well enough and they arrived broken shattered one like of them my was heart in pieces. <laughs> um, yeah, like I, 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 I did not do a well enough job wrapping them. I have learned my lesson. We shipped out another coffee cup, which you'll see later, and I wrapped it real, real good. Like, so, <laughs> like bubble wrap and stretch wrap and everything. Like uh, it's not going anywhere. Okay, um, we're moved on. We've pa we're past it, right? I'm, yeah. I'm totally past it. Please, can you? Can you? <laughs> All right, I saw... Oh, this is such a good nerd find. Yeah. Oh, you redeemed yourself with these two things. I did. Yes. I was yes. looking through a bin yes. at... Where were we? In, Goodwill. In, at Goodwill. Looking through the electronic spin, and I found two gaming headsets, and we sold them both. So here's the thing, though, guys. I had been through the bin yeah. looking for remotes and phones. I went through the same bin. And so he's going over there. I'm like, I already went through that. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, let me just look. And yeah. this nerd finds two... First, expensive ass headset. First one I find is this one, uh, Logitech G35. <laughs> I took it home, plugged it into my computer, microphone, everything works. Sold it for thirty-seven dollars plus four shipping. I paid what, like a dollar fifty? I it? would have never picked up for two bucks at tops. Yeah. So apparently, here's the lesson for those of you who aren't nerds out there: if it has big headphones and it has a little microphone on it, you should look it up. Yeah. Don't always buy it. Yeah. Look it up. If it's yeah. Logitech, you usually you can. Flip it for some easy profit. Gotta have the microphone. Hello, hello. Right. All right. <laughs> Back on the topic of there is a market for everything. I I swear to God, I had <laughs> I had zero left. expectation of this selling. Okay. We were having a day. We were like, God, we just got to get through it. We need to list 15 things today. What do we got? This was in an auction lot. There's all these rando we decorations. Got this, we got this fall decor. We and got I'm these like, scarecrows. We're going to sell this. And, and Amy's like, like, I'm getting ready to take the picture. And she's like, no, no, here, take the turkey. <laughs> Put the turkey in you with it. You can't just sell two things as a lot. You need three. I was like, okay. So I set him up in the light box, <laughs> snapped the picture, threw it up on eBay. And it sold for $12 plus eight shipping. First of all, this is wackadoodle. <laughs> Second of all, it's not even fall. Like, why are these selling? Who bought this? Is this someone? Is it one of you? How? Are you punking us? <laughs> Who... Like, what, do you, what is somebody searching to come across this to buy it? I don't know. I would love to know that. that <laughs> it's so really creepy. Would. All right. They paid a lot of money for it, too. Way bucks. more than it was worth. Yeah. What? I don't even understand. Okay. I don't even we understand. We were doing an experiment, and there's your results. So, yeah. Okay. I sold another magic card. Uh, this one is Swords to Plowshares. Real cheap. Sold for four bucks. But eBay, for trading cards, has a new yeah. shipping option which is the standard envelope, which is 51 cents. Yes. Yes. Is it only for cards? Tell the people. It is only for trading cards, mm. um, and, but you're allowed to ship up to 10 cards per envelope. Wow. Because, you know, if you don't know this, most trading cards come in a pack of 10. Oh, so you can, so you can ship a okay. whole pack with the standard envelope for cheap. Perfect. And it satisfies the eBay requirement of you... You know, up, there's no tracking on it, but it it satisfies the requirement as a seller, you know, that it 
you uploaded your tracking on time. Oh, perfect. Yes. Great. And one more card. This one was land tax, sold for 30 bucks. Ah, yes, 30 bucks for one card. Yeah, that was good because <laughs> someone tried to come in and say it was worth 14 and you were like, no. No. Nope. Somebody, yeah, somebody offered 14 and it was like, looked, I looked it up again, and no. No. I knew it was worth more. You got so. 30 the next day. Isn't that the best feeling? I held out. Yes. <laughs> All right, we sold another, what is this? The Farber Ware. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> two and a half quart with the lid. Sold for 22 Okay. Made a few dollars. Made a few bucks. Made a few dollars. We made more than a few dollars on this. This is a DVF. Coral ombre silk swing dress sold for sixty five. Uh, free shipping? Question mark. Yes. Yeah, but it was super lightweight. It was <clears throat> yeah. like charmeuse or something. It was yeah, so it weighed lightweight. Nothing. So in a little padded uh, poly mailer from eBay, I think it was like three bucks yes. and change to ship. And if you're new here, DVF Darien von Furstenberg is one of our top selling brands. Yeah. I don't know why. Some people say they can't move it. We sell a lot of we it. We sell. A whole bunch of it. So if you have it, you can't move it, hit me up. We'll take it. No, seriously, I bought for posh <laughs> people that couldn't sell yeah. it. Uh, we also sold this pair of Betty Rides snowboard pants. Hot pink for 20 bucks plus 12 shipping. I'm trying to get all of our snow stuff out. Yeah, because so it's get coming offers, up on the end of, end of the season. Yeah, we try to get it listed or you know, in January and February, and then we're trying to take offers. Yep. Random <laughs> things. Yeah, I fell in love with this thing at Goodwill. Uh, what I is think this? it's me. A uh, la la lopsy, ballerina la, la, doll. Do you think it's lopsy or loopsy? I think it's la la loopsy. loopsy. There's two O's. Loopsy. La la loopsy. We don't know about toys. We just Google image search it. And it's sold for twenty two dollars plus shipping. I think it's me. It could be. I feel like the high the hair <laughs> in the crown. Totes. I loved it. Anyway, <laughs> it sold next day. And I was able to. I was able to like the legs all fold, so I wrapped it in tissue paper and I was able to fit it. Into a padded flat rate envelope, so I only had to pay seven fifty two to ship it. Even with her big head. Even with her big head. All right. Yep. I got a big head. More random stuff, guys. More random stuff. This was a mid century modern avocado green tablecloth with matching napkins and bonus basket. Okay. First of all, I don't know if it was mid-century modern, but I know that color is mid-century modern, yep. and it's a key word. So if you put that in your title, if something is any way or close to like the 1950s, and it looks kind of like it could go, and it's vintage, put it in the title. Who cares? You know, there's no way of proving that right or wrong. Right. Put that in the title, and then we included a basket with it and made it look nice, kind of, in the picture. Y'all, we were trying to get rid of this stuff. We got these two... No, three or four huge boxes from this auction. Yeah. I mean, it filled up our whole car. And it was just this random ass stuff. And we were like, what in the world? Yeah. So if it wasn't damaged or dirty, we were like, we were, we're going to sell it. What the hell? We'll list it. We're going to try it. We're doing an experiment. And most of the stuff sold. It was so, like 25 bucks for this stuff. That's plus shipping. Plus a big chunk of $8 shipping. $8 shipping. Yep. Mm hmm. And someone's going to love it. We just put the measurements. Well, we had seven napkins, and one of them was busted. So we only. We just did it like six. I listed it with six, but I still gave them seven. You gave them the bossy one? Yeah. Mm. What if they complain? Oh, God. It's an I'm, extra. It's I'm an OCD. extra. I'm OCD about it. I'm like, Mojo's, See, fine. He, Mojo's worried. He's not worried. He just he's, got done eating. He's, he's fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the other headset. This was a Sony PlayStation gold wireless headset. I found it just like that with no accessories. Mm -hmm. Like no dongle, no charging Excuse cable, me? nothing. And that's how we listed it. Just the headset, no accessories, and it's still sold really quickly for thirty-four dollars. That's including shipping. But it was lightweight, little box, no problem. All right. Yep. Keep picking them up. I'm here. Keep for it. picking them up. Uh, we sold an Under Armour Athletic Cold Gear Half Zip Pullover, sold for twenty-five bucks, free shipping. Under Armour is good. Yeah, it's actually better than I thought. Same. Better than I thought. I think we could have got more for that, but we were trying to just move things this week. Yeah. We're full. And um, Under Armour's good. Yeah. Was, um, we're eventually going to do a thrift haul on this massive, biggest thrift haul we ever did. Biggest. As far as money spent. And... And items procured. Yeah. And I found an Under Armour jacket that was worth more money than I thought. So... Yeah. Check it Stay out. Tuned. We're going to start working on that real soon. We sold this little guy. This was in the auction. This was a... 
This was probably about six, no, four and a half, five inches in diameter. Yeah, really tiny. little plate, Good blue plate, plate. Uh, Wedgwood, China plate, sold for just under 10 bucks. Hey. It had a little pamphlet with it, so it had to have been something. Exactly right. We sold a box of Swiffers, the heavy duty pet Swiffers for $13. Mm. Eh, we you picked these up at like mm. Big Lots, right? I wouldn't recommend them. <clears throat> Not a good flip. Not good. Not good. We paid too much for those. This was a good flip though. It's okay. It was okay. We sold a, what do you call this? A box, a bag, a bag. Bag box. Box bag of Lind Lindor <laughs> coconut truffles. $13. That's good for one bag. One bag. I saw there was a big lots and I was like, coconut? Everybody like coconut. Not, I don't. And we scanned them. She but doesn't. Like, I do. But see, some people, when you like it, you love it. Yeah. You love it? He loves it. Did you eat some? Don't, no, don't eat the inventory. I I, we're keto. keto. I don't eat that. That's the only thing that keeps us. We got Oreos too, girl. Ooh, <laughs> I would eat those. <laughs> All right. We got a pair of dance goes. The XPs. These are the wide fit. Sold for $59 plus 12 shipping. Yes. We love dance goes. Love them. Love them. Do the twist test. Make sure they're not dry rotted. And even if they have a little damage, these have a little bit of wear and it's still fine. Just disclose it. Be it's honest, fine. people. Because people need dance goes for work and they don't want to pay $150. Right? They'd rather have a little wear. Already broken in. Aha! Ah, so. <laughs> I can that! I'm always looking for ways to make really good descriptions. Yeah. I'm going to do that. You, you do do the good descriptions, though. All right, we got Thank a. You. You're welcome. A. What is this? Mattel. Cargo Uno game sold for thirty bucks plus four shipping. This sold super fast. This came from you where? I got it at the, the thrift, thrift World. Right? Yeah. And Thrift City, Thrift World, Thrift or Planet. Something. I don't know. And so I saw it, and it was. I will sell anything that's new in packaging with a barcode. Yeah. If you're new here, that's my mantra. If it's new in packaging with a barcode, I'll sell it. So this was new in packaging with a barcode. Yep. And it happened to be a good one. It was a good one. Paid what? Two bucks. Two bucks, man. Half off. Good mm -hmm. flip. Um, I, I don't know why I grabbed a bunch of scarves. At this thrift. man was in the scarf. <laughs> y'all, y'all, stop, stop, stop. This man was in the scarf section for like forty-five minutes, going through every single one. I'm, it's fifty percent off day. I'm putting all these junk bags in the cart. He's oh, touching every scarf. You just had like a day. I had a day. You I had was, a feeling. I was looking for the Burberry. Ah. Uh, it, it wasn't there. No, but this one was. This one was. This was new with eggs. Lucky brand. We got 15 bucks plus four shipping for That's it. That's good. Paid, what, $1.95 or something for it? Yeah. yeah. And it sold the same day, <clears throat> so that's good. It did sell the same day. That's awesome. You did good. Thank you. We also sold a John Varvatos tie. This was... Another tie. Yeah, another tie. Purple, diagonally striped, slim, modern tie. I had it listed for 20 bucks. Uh, we got an offer for 13 11 I'm on to you. Mm -hmm. I put in a little note. I was looking for my stickers. I was going to throw a 311 sticker in the bag. Did you put a note? I, I, threw, I wrote a note. Oh, cute. Yeah. If you're new here, we're huge 311 fans. <laughs> so the price meant. hit home. It hit home. It's, and it, we, it had to have been. It, had to have been it was a 311 price. fan. Somebody. You don't do 13.11. Nah. 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 <laughs> okay, we sold another plush. Another plush. A vintage pound puppies. From 1985. But it was a but kitten. But it was the cat. It was, it was a the kitten. Cat. cat stuff sells. I did not comp this, but A, it was a pound puppy. B, it was a kitten. And C, cat stuff sells. Who doesn't love cats? So I just got it. The internet loves cats. Everything we get with a cat sells. I don't care what it is. Sold for almost 13 bucks. Look at that guy. He's so cute. Not bad. We made, what, a couple of bucks on that? Nah, we Ten? made, yeah, something like that. Not bad. All right, the other pair of fry boots, the size six Shirley's, sold for a hundred and ten plus twelve shipping yes. on the eBay. Come on, eBay. Yes. God, I love it. Getting those knee high boots out is so good because they're about to get, go out of season. Yep, yep. And I think that was was that the last pair? No, we have one more. Oh man. Nine and a half. All right, uh, we sold a men's Lorenzini dress shirt. I picked this up. I comped it at the time. Comps were really good because it's a nice Italian shirt. I've since seen one at the thrift a couple of times and I've passed on it. Ooh. But it sold for 40 bucks. Maybe if I see it the next time, I'll grab it. Yeah, you should probably grab it. <laughs> 40 bucks is good for a dress shirt. It's great for a dress shirt. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, the snow boots, <gasps> you guys. You guys, the sale of the week. 
This was, these should be in our massive thrift haul because we got it during that, but they sold so fast. I couldn't even believe it. I found a pair of head um, downhill ski boots. Mm -hmm. These things were massive. Bigger like than my head. Size 12 or something. Nine Three, and a half? No, that's the number oh, of the... Oh, I didn't know how you did 338 that. 338 millimeter is the size of the ski thing, whatever. I looked them up. They're apparently... We don't ski. Like a, pa a, a size 11 and a half to 12. They were okay. huge, okay? They were huge. And like, you know, aluminum buckles and plastic shells, and they weighed almost like 20 pounds. It was insane. So I listed them really, really high. and they, Higher than the comps? I, I don't even remember. I was wondering you know? if you listed them low because I, they sold like super fast. Yeah, they, I listed them for 160 bucks, and then we had our sale over the weekend, and somebody bought them for full price, 135.96, um, and it only cost me 15 dollars to ship them using FedEx. That's good. Yes. Oh, you're not telling them the best part. Oh, they were uh, marked 2.99, and it was 50 percent off, so I got them for a dollar fifty. <laughs> even, yeah even the cashier was like what you how are, much is these no that's what way it says. i'm like it says right it's 2.99 yellow i don't and we were taking a gamble because we don't know anything so uh -uh. we had to ask some friends to make sure i was like man these are heavy these are gonna be it nope. turned out really well turned out great turned out great what else we got a the other coffee cup the one i really really wrapped the dean and deluca this was like a diner style mug you know East nice Coast and heavy people. This man didn't know Dean and DeLuca. I, I, it's okay. Like, we're we're learning him. I didn't know. But it sold for nine fifty plus four shipping. I and wanted to keep it. Like I said, I, I really I wrapped it really well in bubble wrap and then I stretch wrapped it and then I put that in the box and more bubble wrap and then we just We'll let you know next week if it gets there. <laughs> we have a lot of coffee mugs listed, so I'm praying. Yeah. Alright, we sold a vintage Ronald McDonald plate. With Ronald McDonald, the Hamburglar, and Big Mac. Sold for $7.50. Cost about that much to ship, so we probably lost We lost money on this. A dollar. Y'all, I thought since it was lightweight, I don't do the shipping, but I do the pricing of the shipping, so it's not that great of a system. And I'm like, it's so light. Like, seriously, it was less than like four ounces. Yeah. I, it was so light. But it's the size, because it's like big. It was a 10-inch plate, and I had to wrap it in bubble wrap, so... Even, I didn't put it in a poly mailer because I was traumatized from when the coffee <laughs> cups broke. <laughs> I didn't want this thing to break, so I didn't want to put it in a poly mailer. I was traumatized. <laughs> you know, these things happen. They do. <laughs> we also, let's, let's just move on. Okay. Okay. We sold an emerald pot. An emerald pot. Emerald's good, y'all. If it has a copper ring, it's good. It had the copper ring. It was nice. Nice small one quart saucepan. I kind of wanted to keep it. I'm not going to lie to you. We sold it for 30 bucks. Can't keep it. Can't keep the inventory. Can't. So tempting. 30 bucks. We did make more on this pan. So maybe it's just the old Revere wares. Yeah. I don't know. I don't either. We'll keep but... letting you know what happens. We're experimenting with you guys. Yep. All right. We got one more. One more sale for eBay. It's been, it's, we had a lot of sales. If you guys are still here, thank you for hanging out. Thank you. Uh, if you learned anything, please give us a like and a subscribe. It really does help us out. And a thumbs up. And a, a, yeah, a thumbs up. All of us. I things. love the thumbs up the most. That's a like. That's what I meant. Oh. That's it. But it makes me the happiest yes. when I see like lots of little thumbs up. That's true. All right. Last sale on eBay was a Casio graphing calculator. It sold for eight dollars plus eight shipping. Not all graphing calculators are created equal. Not all graphing calculators are TI eighty four plus. plus. See, we wouldn't get this again. <laughs> we wouldn't get that one again. No. Just letting you know. Okay, here's the All right, break it ready. down. You ready? You ready for the break analytics? Break it down. Okay. Total sales this week. Yes. 42. Oh, in that's, one week? That's six a day. Yes. Our goal is always five, like recent goal, because we used to sell like one. Yeah. If we sold one a day before, like last year, we it would have been. like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Daily sales. Check out our old videos when we had like. Okay. Yeah, it's bad. Don't, don't check no, this out. Okay. Do um, our gross sales number, meaning what the retail, I guess you say, what what people bought it for, all added up, yep. was $1,441.69. Nice. That's pretty good. Pretty good. What was the uh, the, the net? net? And that'll be at the end of the video. That's what 
when we take off the fees. Right, net earnings. Net earnings. Not profit. Right. Was $1,153.33. Yes. Yes. Good week. And we keep our cost of goods very low. Yes, we do. For the most part. So you can kind of guess what our profit is. It's if we sold 42 things, we'd never pay more than a dollar or two for mostly anything. So that's pretty our, Yeah, pretty our, our, with the hard goods and stuff like that, our overall average has started to creep up a little bit, but it's like still, what, under three bucks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Okay, and so our average sale price for each single thing that sold was $34.33. Awesome. So yes, we're selling junk, but our <laughs> average sale price is still pretty high. We're, it's helping move the bigger items in our closet, the bigger ticket items, because we're getting more traffic. Right, we're getting more conversions, so that means eBay is pushing our listings. We've, like I said, our sales have increased 300% over the past 30 days. And our impressions are also way, way up. That means eBay is showing our listings to more people. Yes, more eyeballs on our stuff. Okay, on eBay, we sold 34 items. Mm. Poshmark 5 and Mercari 3. I think I might, I think Mercari made them before. Mm, don't call me up. Okay. Men's, we sold 8 items. Women's, 13 items. And hard goods, 21 items. Okay. Y'all, if you're not in the hard goods game and you're having trouble, you might consider Start it. branching out. Branch you gotta out. diversify. Okay, here's the big stat. The big stuff. Big stat. Big stat. <laughs> okay. So, of the 42 things we sold this week, uh -huh. 35 of them have been listed in the last 30 days. What? Yes. That's crazy. I keep a very detailed spreadsheet as of January 1st. No, I did not always do that. But yeah. as of January 1st, I have been. <laughs> 35. So if we didn't do any listing, like if we were just busy and we couldn't get to it, we would have sold seven items. Oh, that would not have been good. As opposed to 42. 42 is much better. We push ourselves to list 15 items a day, and those items yeah. are the ones that are selling. Yeah. And speaking of, we still need to go do that tonight. So we got to go. We got to go. Thanks for hanging out and come back next time. Bye. Bye.